Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Just thought I'd show you my latest uh, modular synth. It's called the Groove Box. It's based on Matt Bradshaw's drum kit. It's an awesome little synth and he's packed a lot into the Arduino Nano to make this a really playable and great sounding synth. I wanted a modular Eurorack format, so I just messed about with the um, PCB and created a front panel. His version actually has got MIDI out. Um, I've removed the MIDI out and I've added some trigger inputs or outputs, sorry. This is the second iteration. The first whoop, was this one. And it works fine, but I found that I wanted the outputs at the top here. Um, it just works better for my little modular synth that I'm building. And the buttons are a bit close. Sometimes you've got to push three buttons at once and yeah, my fat fingers don't work on that. So I got rid of that one and designed this one, which has got more rooms around the button um, and obviously the outputs at the top. So we'll plug it into my modular synth and we'll get this thing cranking. Okay, so this is the little modular synth that I've, I just put this together really just to see how things would work. Plan to add a few more modules to this, still working out on what they are, but I've got the Freak FM synth and the Newton synth by Me Bleeps, which um, I've got builds for those and how to's, which you, I'll share on this YouTube um, channel on the description. Um, and it's got all the Gerber files and everything else you need to build those. So they, they're awesome, but I also wanted to add some rhythm. So all you gotta do, there's a little, it all runs off nine volts. I wanted to keep it super simple. So you can just, there's a little power board in there, plug it in and then screw it down. I won't bother doing that yet. We'll just get it started. So the output is there and then we'll put it into one of the triggers. Let me just plug in a speaker. So you get this standard beat to start with. You got four different buttons down here, A, B, C, and D. And they all relate to the different um, effects you can do for each of these different pots. So with A, you can see I've got chance here, zoom, range, midpoint. So we can just do a simple change to the beat. If I hit A, I can do range here. Usually the midpoint is kind of off. There's the ability to play um, pre-programmed drums. So if I hit A and B together, I can play one of the samples that I've already loaded up. If you want to record a sample that you like, you just hit C and B, and then whatever button you want to record that under. There's also a really cool, um, already pre-set up beats that you can do. So if you hit D, and up here you've got B. So you can play through these, each iteration of those LEDs a different beat. And you can, you can play around those beats. We've got tempo there. It's time. Change the beat. on the floor now let's play around with this beat for a bit so we'll hit B and let's play around with the crush and we'll also do a little bit of the uh, pitch now this kind of reverses everything kind of cool hey Crop. Oh. Let's 
go back to one valve. You can go back to the start beep by just hitting A, B, and C. And you can uh, generate random beats by hitting A, B, and D. Just randomly making up a beat for us, so. And again, you can play with those beats, so we'll increase the time. We'll go B. So we'll just go back to the basic beat. We'll stick on the freak. The freak. Uh, we'll get this started. Alright, and then you can also play the mutants and uh, well I've got that, let's play it. So I'll just start that. Whoa, whoa, hang on, we'll turn it down a bit. Get this started. Yeah. Okay, right. so we can just stop it there. Um, just a really quick intro into the groove box. You can check out how to build this. There's links in my YouTube page um, to my GitHub as well as to my Instructables, which has got a step-by-step -step guide to this. And I'll just turn that off. Um, yeah, really simple. It's just based on a Arduino Nano, uh, easy code to load up. No issues around loading it. Um, really fun. I'm really interested actually to hear what else you think I can add to this, what other modules. Um, I've got a kick drum that I want to add, um, but I'm, I want to add a, a sampler module. I'm kind of stuck at the moment on trying to work out what that could be. So um, I've tried around a few different things, haven't quite worked. There's been latency involved and they haven't hasn't triggered on the beat properly. So. Any ideas on that would be much appreciated. All right, thanks for checking it out and we'll catch you soon.